The incident depicted in this video happened on June 6, 2015 in McKinney, Texas. He has a flashlight. God I got a flashlight, my nigga. Oh shit. Oh shit, bro. This nigga fell. Do you see him? Hey, hey, let me go give it to him. No, no, I give give it to him. no, no, no. Hey, let me give it to him. No, I wanna give it to him. Fuck you. Hey, it was his. It was his. No, 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 it wasn't his. It wasn't his. It was his. Oh, he needs to here. It was his. Don't, 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 don't. Take off around when the cops yeah, yeah, get here. What's up, man? Oh, thank you. I, it was, it was some that, guy. It was one of these okay, guys, I appreciate it. None of them were involved. Okay, that's what I'm saying. They're, they're it was this guy. It was that guy. Well, sir, sir, get on the ground. Hold up, sir. I told you to stay. Get your ass is down on the ground. These type of situations keep happening to our children because the parents don't know what to teach the children to prevent this. Oh my God. Georgie, Georgie. I just bought him, man. Hey, if you can hear the young man, he says, please, sir, we just came from a birthday party. Please, sir, this child is afraid for his life, okay? And if you want your children to be subjected to this type of thing, then keep doing what you've been doing and teaching them nothing. If you want to know what to teach them, then you need to contact me. I don't care, sit down. Sit down. Yo, Richard, what color was it? It's navy blue. I know where it is. That's a baby. So right now you're state. Don't make me fucking run around here with 30 pounds of goddamn gear on the sun because you want to screw around out here. Y'all keep standing there and run your mouth. We're going to go too. Get out of here, I already told you. I don't care. Please, you're leaving now. You're leaving now. You are leaving now. That way. Don't touch it. Get your ass gone. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Keep running your mouth. Oh, my God. Please. Yo, Jelfer, what the fuck is going on? Why is he acting so crazy? Got a girl now that he's manhandling her, throwing her to the ground on, on the concrete with a bathing suit so you know she's getting skinned up. Like, do you want your children to be treated like this or do you want to learn what to do? Did you notice this obese European standing in the picture? He's not the police. He's standing there as a, a he should be an innocent bystander just observing what's going on so that so the justice justice can be served. But nevertheless, he's there trying to assist the police and keeping the rest of the children away from the arrest that he's making on this young girl. Now, as police officers got both his knees in this girl's back and neck. To, uh, and, and putting all of his weight on her as he's holding her there with, with this type of activity is not necessary. You need to teach your children what to do, what not to do, and how to conduct themselves. And the only way you're going to really find out what you need to do is contact me. Now look at all the other Europeans standing around. They're not police officers. It's some uh, look like a bunch of skinheads to me want to assist the police in arresting these young children. They're not telling them to get out of here, get the hell out of here, get your ass out of here and all that type of stuff. They're just standing around with their fat asses with their hands in their pockets. Here's another problem. So-called black guy trying to tell the young girl to 
be quiet and be peaceful and so forth, you know, go peacefully, so to speak. That's agreement. That means if, if she go peacefully, she, she agrees to be arrested, okay? You know, Martin Luther King and them had peaceful demonstrations, and you saw what happened to them. They got trampled by horses and, and bit by dogs and sprayed with water and all types of stuff uh, being peaceful. You know, this type of shit is disturbing to me for the main reason that our people are ignorant. You don't know how to conduct yourself in the public. You don't know how to conduct yourself in commerce. You don't know nothing. You, you're commercially illiterate. And so in order for you to change this, you need teaching. And you need wise counsel. And if you want some of that, then you need to contact me. mtsconsultations at gmail.com. Adrian, I'm going to tell you one more time. Get your ass out of here. Adrian, across the street. Adrian, across the street. You're going to. Adrian. Just brought an adult into the picture that was attempting to physically assist the children. At least he manned up and decided he was going to help these children in some, some shape, form, or fashion. And he was beaten, apparently, because the way that he's looking, he's look, he looks like he's in distress. And here these the, the scared children are again. You know what I mean? And, and, and these ones are just bullying and terrorizing these children. This is the definition of terrorism. So you just did what everybody else did. And what everybody else did was illegal. You did it, and you got caught. They didn't. Now you're sitting here paying for it. I just came here for one I don't have a problem. That's not my problem. Next thing that's getting ready to happen to these children that's under arrest, they're going to take them down to a police station, throw them in a cold cell that's about 40 degrees on a metal bench where they, where they are going to be totally uncomfortable and they're going to keep them in those conditions until the parents either come for them or they're bailed out.